Hi, we prepared this video so that you have a complete understanding of how to take your advertising to the next level with automation. In this video I'll try to talk about all the nuance of the plugin and set it up using a real example. I am a not English speaker and apologize for some mistakes. Also you can use subtitles if you're Ukrainian or Russian speaker. Conversions are necessary to teach Google or Facebook AI to make automatic bids depending on the chance of purchase. We have an article details detailing how it works. Uh, link in the description below. In a few words, this can be explained as AI analyzes a large amount of static data about the users, for example, his age, region, and interests, and other data, for example, time, weather, etc. And after that, builds neural connections between the dependence data of those buyers who bought. The more buyer and for a bigger amount with certain set of data makes purchase, the stronger connection will be. Based on these neural connections, when users search some product, the AI will evaluate the chance of a purchase and select the optimal bid for participant in the auction. Uh, for example, this is how any auction in the real world works. The higher the bid, the higher the position and the chance of a user going to your site increase. You will be the last here or you can burn the budget and then build the first. But if you have transferred enough data and AI determines that, for example, people in this age category from this region with such interest buy often, and people in the 65 plus category with the same interest very rarely, then AI will set the desired bid amount and in the first case you will be the first and in the second you will be the last or will not take part at all. If you do not believe that the advertising system collects your interest and sort into categories, then follow the link and you will see all information about yourself. Uh, there are an excellent official article from Google and Facebook in which everything is described in detail, link in the description below. From myself I want to explain with a simple example what is it. Imagine that you have a simple website with an order form. Most people set form submission as a successful conversion. Uh, in fact, uh, a successful conversion should be payment uh, for your work or maybe product. If uh, 100 people visit your site, 10 of them left and request, uh, you send uh, offers to all of them, but after sometimes only two bouch, then it is reasonable to tell Google and Facebook who exactly bouch and not who filled out the form. Ok, just imagine that client visit your sites. In this moment Google Analytics and Facebook's pixels will assign the special ID and put in the cookies file. You can check it manually, just open applications, go to cookie and write underscore GA. Uh, this is your Google client ID and this is your Facebook client ID. Ok, when a customer makes a purchase or submit a request, we must catch his client ID and transfer it to the CRM with all others data. Uh, when the order is marked as uh, successful in the, in the BTX24, we will send information to the Google and Facebook that the users with uh, this client's ID actually bought some products or service. If the same client ID bought from us again, we will already know his client ID and can just resend conversions with the same Google client ID. Uh, for Google, you don't need send UTM tags or name of client because he already knows this information. Uh, we only report that these customers may event purchase with some products and send transactions. The main task and 90% of work is correct integration of BTX24 and your site or other lead source. It means that you must catch a client ID and send it to BTX24 in a special fields which will be automatically created when you install app. Uh, we will talk about this in more detail in the next chapter. Uh, but now let's install our app and make uh, basic settings. Uh, okay, let's do this. We go here, put our domain and press install. After that, 
press install again. Okay, now we can take trial. Activate trial and go. Here we put our site. For example, this. Here we uh, enter event code and here comment. You can choose who wish we notify. Great. Okay. Go here. Everything okay. Now we go uh, uh, go here and uh, create deal. For example, test, just create, and here you will see user ID, show always, save, it's uh, now empty, go here and put our robot here and save. Okay, that's all. Site integrations is a very important and difficult stage. If you already have integration between the sites in BTX24, you should ask your developer to improve it. Uh, you need to catch the client ID on the site and pass into the uh, user's ID fields in the CRM. We have all instructions, API, here, uh, SDK with example. Uh, if you do not have integrations and the site use popular content managed system like WordPress, uh, WooCommerce, OpenCart, uh, maybe uh, CS Card Magento, uh, or maybe you use framework, popular framework like Laravel UE, or use SaaS uh, builder like Wix, Shopify. Uh, then you don't need a developer for this task because we have a developed special integration apps that are coach and send client ID to Bitrix24 automatically. You have to do the integration through them and everything will be work. For example, I will integrate WordPress contact for someone. You can find instruction for your CMS or framework in the description below the video. Okay, the main task is to have the user ID fields here and it's completed. To connect Google Analytics, open our app and press to Google Analytics tab. If you have all Google Universe Analytics, you can watch this video. I will explain how to connect Google Analytics 4. Okay, go to our Google Analytics, choose our sites, go to admin area. Here you can choose data stream and after that you can create new stream or choose your old stream like for example sites. Here you can copy measure ID and paste in the same field here. After that go back, press measurement protocol API secrets, create new secrets, for example B224 of line 
conversion, create, copy this secret value, paste here, choose send in transactions and choose send extended e-commerce data because we use purchase. And after that, save. Google Analytics is now connected. To connect Facebook, open our app and choose Facebook tab. After that, go to your business account, choose all tools, go to events manager, choose data source and choose your pixel and copy ID. Go back to our app and put this ID in pixel ID. After that, go to the settings and find a conversion API, set up manually and press generate at this token. Copy this token, go back to our app and put this token here and press save. That's all, Facebook is connected. First, I added data about our lead. This is a product and its location. After that, we convert the lead into a deal. This will launch the robot that we added early. Go to the applications and click to the events log tab. Here you can see our events. As you can see, they have not been sent yet. Sending is carried out once an hour, so that if you make a mistake and do not indicate all data, for example the price, then you can correct it. Events are sent automatically one an hour, but for test purpose we will send them immediately. Just press the force upload button. Reload the page, we see that our events have been sent. Note that if the lead user ID fields are empty, then the conversions to Google is not added here, but to Facebook is added. But we strongly recommend that you add Facebook client ID to user ID fields for Facebook too. Next, I will show that the more information you send to Facebook, the more even much quality and the more effective your advertising will be. It takes time for ad networks to process your events. I recommend it watch it, it the next day. But if you go to Google Analytics real-time report, you will see that the purchase event has arrived. Uh, okay, I need to reload this. And uh, here and here. A few moments later. Facebook does not have real-time wrapper functionality, so you need to wait a few hours. Here we see that Facebook received our purchase event. Uh, recognize them like a uh, standard event and send a set event match quality to OK. Here you can click and see what data you are transferring. Uh, about what data can be transmitted and how it's formed, read the article under the video. Now that you have a complete understanding of how this works, let's talk about how to choose event name. In the example, we choose purchase and I might not have explained in why. So all events on Facebook are divided into standard and others. The only difference is the standard events are default conversions. This means the standard events in our case conversions you can use to optimize your ads. Uh, let's look at our example. We have chosen purchase. Uh, we find this event in the list of standard events. Uh, the link will be in the description under the video. Here we can see what these standard events means and very important the required, the required fields you must send. Of course we recommend using the standard events, 
But if in your case there is some kind of non-standard events, you can always acquire these events with conversions. Just go to your event manager, press create, create custom conversions. When you first time send non-standard events, it will be displayed here. You can just uh, press for this and select the category of standard conversions. For example, purchase and create.